Let's talk about the properties of whole numbers. Basic properties. First one is properties. Properties. We know that the first property is closure property. What is closure property? Okay, you might have read all these properties in the previous classes, but I am teaching you in a different manner that will last, that you can remember for a longer time. Okay, okay, students. Let's see. Closure property. Closure property is nothing but I am talking about whole numbers. That means sum of, for example, I am talking in addition. Closure property in addition. closure property in addition that means see sum of two whole numbers always must be whole number that is closure property okay students see sum of two whole numbers for example i am writing in this manner you may be very new to this one whole number one plus whole number two that means this is one whole number this is another whole number that becomes it forms another whole number that is whole number 3 sum of two whole numbers is equal to whole number let's check with examples if it is possible then only we put the equal to otherwise not equal to okay let's take one example 0 is the smallest whole number and 2 0 plus 2 is equal to 2 okay 0 is whole number 2 is whole number here 2 is also another whole number that means whole number plus whole number is equal to whole number that means this closure property under addition is possible here this is possible here okay any example you can take you can take any example see 3 plus 5 is equal to 8 this is whole number this is whole number this is also whole number okay we can take any example that means closure property under addition is possible for whole numbers next subtraction let's see subtraction whether it is possible or not subtraction okay that means difference of two whole numbers subtraction is nothing but difference difference of two whole numbers must be a whole number okay let's let's see whether it is possible or not that means i'm writing in this manner whole number one minus whole number two is equal to whole number three okay if it is possible we put the equal to symbol if it is not possible we put the not equal to symbol okay let's see first i'm taking 3 minus 2 is equal to 1 3 minus 2 is equal to 1 yes it is possible 3 minus 2 is 3 is whole number 2 is whole number 1 is also whole number whole number minus whole number is equal to whole number okay let's take one more example reverse these digits 2 minus 3 is equal to minus 1 2 minus 3 is equal to minus 1 one whole number minus another whole number but this product this uh, result is not a whole number did you observe students here in this first condition what i took here it is possible but in the second condition it is not possible that means totally it won't possible okay that means we can put the unequal symbol that is not equal to w this is not w2 w3 okay students subtraction that means under subtraction whole numbers doesn't hold this closure property okay closure property we have seen addition and subtraction the in these two addition is possible subtraction is not possible okay let's see let's see the multiplication same property closure property we have seen addition and subtraction now multiplication 
मल्टीप्लीकेशन दट मीन प्रोडक्ट ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन इज नथिंग बट प्रोडक्ट वी कैन से प्रोडक्ट प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू होल नंबर मस्ट बी ए होल नंबर लेट्स चेक होल नंबर वन इंटू होल नंबर टू ईक्वल टू होल नंबर थ्री दट मीन यू कैन टेक एनी नंबर यू कैन टेक जीरो इंटू टू इज ईक्वल टू जीरो This is a whole number. This is a whole number, and this is also a whole number. Okay, that means it is satisfying here. Another example I will take: two into four is equal to eight. Two is whole number, four is whole number, and eight is also whole number. That means under subtra under multiplication, whole numbers hold closure property. Okay, next, let's check the division also. division that means division of two whole numbers must be a whole number division of two whole numbers must be a whole number okay let's check whole number 1 divided by whole number 2 is equal to whole number 3 initially we are checking now if it is not possible we put the not equal to symbol here see let's take let's take 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2 4 divided by 2 is nothing but 2 it is whole number it is whole number this is also whole number till now it is holding next reverse the digits 2 divided by 4 is equal to this is nothing but 1 by 2 yes or no 2 ones are 2 twos are 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 a whole number no not at all 1 by 2 is a fraction that is a rational number as we discussed what are rational numbers all are so this is rational number this is not a whole number that means under division closure property does not hold for whole numbers okay right chalo so closure property we have seen so now in closure property let's revise this one in closure property in closure property addition holding subtraction not holding and multiplication holding division it's not holding this one you have to remember okay addition holding subtraction not holding multiplication holding and division not holding this one you have to remember okay let's move on to the next property that is commutative property you all know these properties but in the different manner you learn commutative property commutative property in closure property we took two numbers and the result is one number here in commutative property we took two numbers left hand side and right hand side also we took the we in commutative property we take two numbers left hand side and those two numbers will be reversed and we will perform the same operation in the right hand side that means left hand side answer and right hand side answer will be same then only it holds the property okay let's check commutative property first we take addition commutative property nothing but whole number 1 plus whole number 2 is equal to whole number 2 plus whole number 1 this is nothing but commutative property so if this is possible then we put the equal to symbol otherwise not equal to symbol let's check take two whole numbers we start with 0 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 plus 0 that means 0 plus 1 is 1 is equal to 1 plus 0 is 1 that means it's possible you can take any number any number you can take that is possible here so that means this is possible here that means 
commutative property and a reduction for whole numbers it is possible okay let's check the subtraction also here subtraction you take two numbers that means w1 minus w2 is equal to w2 minus w1 if it is possible we put the equal to symbol here if it is not possible we put the not equal to symbol here see take the same numbers 0 minus 1 is equal to 1 minus 0 what is 0 minus 1 0 minus 1 is nothing but minus 1 is equal to 1 minus 0 is 1 minus 1 and 1 are same no never so therefore it does not hold subtraction under subtraction is not possible here subtraction is not possible that means commutative property does not hold subtraction in whole numbers is it clear students let's let's check the multiplication which property commutative property multiplication take two whole numbers product of those two whole numbers must be whole number only that means see take two whole numbers w1 into w2 is equal to same w2 into w1 let us take two whole numbers 0 into 1 is equal to 1 into 0 that is this is also 0 this is also 0 again you, you can check with any other number you will get the same result so therefore multiplication is possible here multiplication is possible here so now you can take any other number that means take 2 into 3 is equal to 3 into 2 that means this is 6 this is also 6 you can take any number it is possible here that means multiplication under commutative property is possible in whole numbers let's talk about division let's talk about division division here means same we take w1 divided by w2 is equal to w2 divided by w1 if it is possible we put the equal to symbol if it is not possible we put the not equal to symbol take two numbers 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2 divided by 4 any number you can take up 4 ones are 4 twos are that means this is 2 and this is 1 by 2 is it possible no therefore we put the not equal to symbol it does not hold division is not possible under multiplication to the whole numbers is it clear students Chalo. this is nothing but commutative property let's revise commutative property commutative property commutative property addition subtraction multiplication and division addition is possible subtraction not possible multiplication possible and division not possible this is very 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 important this table you have to remember so that you can do the sums very easily this is very important okay clear students let's